Well, good afternoon. It is confidence. And I hope that you are signing on or that you're here. Let me know if you are so you can tag me and talk to me and let me know if you're out there. Thank you for joining. This is Godfidence, season 11. And I know that some of you are like, okay, what's Darlene and Fuller or Q and Fuller doing? And so I want to make sure you guys know that we are out here in these streets, coming back in from these streets and uh, making things happen. Hey, Emily, look, I saw you, Emily, post about your 40th. You say 40th birthday? So congratulations on your 40th. I think you said 40th. Maybe you said 30th birthday. So look, hey, 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 everybody, come on in, come on in. Hi, Jennifer. And hey, everybody, as you're joining, this is Godfidence. And look at my girl, row, 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 row your boat, Ronell Johnson in the house. So, um, Emily, what you posting about? What are we voting for? But Oh, vote for the Fabulous 40. Okay, y'all vote for Emily. Click on the link. Emily doing the most. She she advertising on, uh, on Godfidence now. So... Welcome, you guys. What's up? Ronelda, you made it home. So we've had an exciting week. So I'm going to jump in and get started. You can see I am minus a person on my left and right or right. That would be guess where you think he is. Can y'all guess? Where do you think the Fuller is? Okay, y'all post it in the chat. Don't be throwing no hearts up for Fuller. Yes. Hey, Von Holmes, our people in the house. So y'all can only imagine where Fuller is. Look, I go, yes, Ronelda. So look, I go, I'm getting, uh, hey, Norma Hayes. Um, I get upstairs to go do a little something to this. <laughs> and I go in there, Darcy, look. Me and Darcy just got off the phone. I go up there to check on Fuller to say, uh, Fuller, I ain't heard no steps doing this. I don't hear none of that coming down the steps. So Ronelda, um, Ronelda hit the nail on the head. Fuller was in the bed, sleep. And then he woke up like this. I said, Fuller, he's talking about, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> so he is in the bed. But y'all know, I had to come on here. This is season 11. I looked and I realized, thank you, Emily. I looked and I said, you know what? We they, we can't skip a week. I know we've been running and I know maybe I'm just, mm, I'm thinking too highly of what you guys watch every week to, to think that you guys, hey, Shannon, what's going on? Valerie, what's up, you guys? Marvin Banks, welcome. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Um, but maybe I just think that you guys really do want, and I guess y'all do, y'all treat this like it is a reality show. Norma Hayes, are you cooking? Look, I am cooking. Let me tell y'all what I'm cooking right now. Can, can y'all y'all post? Tell me what y'all cooking, because I, I had to come in here, and I am super. So let me get to my story, you guys. Okay. So last week, we had ministers and leaders, and we had such a great time. We had all the ministers and leaders from... Um, CDMA, which is Credit Dollar Ministerial Association, and um, we had that event, and uh, it was a great event. And then on Wednesday, after the event was over, Full and I got right on a plane and headed at 9.30 p.m. to catch a flight to Canada. We were invited to come back. Well, yeah, we were invited uh, to come back to uh, to Canada, Montreal, Canada, to attend a church called Christ in Action. I'm sure you guys have been keeping up. Ooh, yummy. You guys are posting some good stuff about what y'all been, y'all cooking. So Norma got some chili. She made some chili earlier. Miss Norma, could you just make me a bowl and just freeze it or something? Take it to my mama. Don't tell my mama you made it though for her. For her. Just put it in her freezer and I'll come get it on Friday. Uh, and then Miss... Um, it's Yvonne Holmes talking about she made some broiled salmon with some vegetables. Y'all, I've been watching these reels on all the foods that people have been cooking. Most of it is too fattening for me. I, between the 
heavy cream and the cheese and the putting the chicken bouillon and then throwing some pasta on the bottom of it with some broccoli. So, okay, I digress, you guys. But I am in the crock pot right now. Not crock pot. Ronelda, listen. Ronelda got me doing this, you guys. I don't even know if it, I, I can do this and it come out successful. I'm sure it will. I decided to make some, um, looking in the freezer, everything's frozen. And we are just coming back today. I threw in some, shh, I know this hood, neck bones in the pressure cooker with some garlic. And I pour, put in there some uh, fresh carrots and like I'm making some roast. Because Paige over at her auntie uh, Mary and Marcus' house, and she's been eating like uh, mama don't ever cook. <laughs> so she over there talking about mama, if you don't know what you're cooking, I'm going to stay with auntie Mary and Uncle Marcus' house. So they, they done made roast and potatoes. So Paige is talking about I'm going to stay over there. She don't know I'm making these and, and not that she's ever had about our kids. They don't, they don't eat the stuff we used to eat. But anyway, so I put some neck bones in the pressure cooker and uh, put in some garlic and some, uh, some whole celery, some little, I cut them up, celery, not, not small celery, whole, cut them up and, um, and just threw it in the, the pressure cooker, put some, uh, put some water in it, put some olive oil on top of the, um, the neck bones and then uh, put some, uh, let's see, some other seasoning on there. And then oh, put some chicken bouillon in the bottom for the water. And then when I go back up there, after I'm finished with this, I'm going to throw a little bit of um, a flour in there. I'm going to mix it up first and then pour it in there. And I, Oh, you know what I may go may do? I may put a, a, a once the water kind of cooks down, I may put a can of cream of mushroom soup in there. Okay, I mean, I'm telling y'all all my business. So anyway, oh, ooh, that sounds good. So anyway, I am, we went to Canada. You guys, the first time we went to Canada was probably six or seven months ago. We were invited. We met um, a pastor from um, an individual, Pastor Freddie, out of Paris that had invited Pastor Fofi to come because he wanted to meet Fuller. So we were like, hang on, okay, okay, we'll meet him. But anyway, so anyway, we, we ended up going to, uh, to Canada about six, seven months ago. The event was very good. I mean, full of preach. It was great. They invited me back this time uh, because this was their women's event. It's called Christ in Action. They're in Montreal. So uh, Christ in Action, and they had a, a women's event. It was called um, uh, Kainus. Did I say that right, Christian? Because you probably watched Pastor Christian. Kainus, um, the meeting new. Meeting, you know, the women. This was all women. Mostly there were some men there. When I tell you guys, they served us like royalty. I'm sure uh, I call them Sir Patrick, and all of the ladies from the praise team. I'm sure there's some that told me the other day, like they were they watch and they they thank me for you know acknowledging their service. These people be from the time they were just like at World Changers, just like at your church probably. They served from the time we got in there to the time we landed. Man, okay, so let me go back. We landed on Wednesday night at midnight. Y'all get this. Renault almost forgot to say this. Delta, which I love Delta. A Delta, I think, is probably better than any airline. We 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 speak very highly. But on this day at midnight, as we're arriving now, Thursday, 8 a.m., one of my bags didn't show up. My favorite Mini Cooper Red bag suitcase is missing so they go over to the the belt looking around with Renelda and I looking ain't no suitcase everybody got this suitcase except I'm missing one so I go over to the the claim person she takes it she says I can see it it's still in Atlanta I said oh y'all is my eyelash coming off I think look here y'all I can tell y'all a funny story Oh, Lord. Okay, look, I digress. Hey, what's up, uh, uh, Renee? I see y'all coming in Mel Jackson. And, and Okay, so anyway, so my bag is missing. Y'all, I got a minister. All my, my clothes is in the one big bag. My other bag just got my shoes in it. And my under, my, no, my shoes, yeah, my shoes in it. So anyway, I didn't get upset. I stayed calm because, look, there's always a place. I can always go shopping and find some stuff. So anyway, so I ended up going, uh, we left. So I waited around Thursday, went back to the hotel. Of course, we didn't slept, got back up on Thursday. Then um, 
waited like until like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Now, I got a minister at 630. The bag ain't showed up. Fuller says, Darlene, uh, we may need to go to the mall and buy you something to wear. And I'm thinking, well, I wore some black jeans. And I got a black shirt I wore. He said, Darlene, we ain't broke. Let's go to the let's go to the mall. So we asked the attendant where the mall is. They got about three, four different malls. We stayed in the Warwick Hotel, which is fabulous. So if you ever go to New York, which we ended up staying in uh, in Paris, I think in the Warwick, and um, and I think in New York that was the Warwick too. But anyway, if you ever go to a, 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 a international city and you're looking for a great, great, great hotel, I loved the Warwick. I'm sure there's others out there, but the Warwick. Why am I advertising the Warwick? Anyway, it was the bomb. It was very nice. Um, so we get, for, let, let me say this. Pastor Fofi and Mama Susie is what the, the, the lady of the house, they refer to her as Mama Susie. Um, they had set us up in this fabulous suite. And I do mean it looked like a little apartment. Very great. Very beautiful. We had a fruit basket that was delivered to our room, as you guys probably saw that in the background and some of the pictures. And then um, when I got there, I saw this little, um, this little, uh, like, card. And I looked and I was like, oh, I wonder what this is. I, th I thought they just left something for the, uh, the women's uh, convention. It had my picture on the front of it. When you open it up, it was like, thank you, Darlene, Lady Fuller, for coming and, you know, honoring our women's event with your presence and blah, 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 blah. And then on the side of it, it had my itinerary. What I was supposed to do on Thursday is when I minister, I did pray and worship on Thursday. Then on um, Friday, they had, um, or now what they have on Friday? Uh, and then, and then uh, oh, Friday, attended service. Saturday, they had like a, a talk show. And so it had on their talk show. Then it had on their Sunday praises. And I was like, wow. I mean, it went all out. And then, so so that was that was that night. So Fro Fuller's telling me, Dar darling, you need to go to the mall. So anyway, we find the mall and we looking around. And look, you guys, it is now three o'clock in the afternoon. And I've got to be there at six six o'clock. So we have a driver and the driver from the ministry, uh, Andre, he always picks us up. Just, I mean, I know I'm going into detail. I just, I guess I'm just giving you guys a glimpse into, um, the life. I'm thankful for the lifestyle that has been afforded to me in this new Kinos, this new realm, this new season, this new, new life that you know, of course, I think we all believe we have the women, especially we have the, the ability to be go to another level. But how do we get there? And I'm just thankful that God allowed me not to ignore this person uh, fuller because of age, because he was 20 years older than me, because he was an OG, because he was he was trying to hit on me. And I was like, Ugh, what the people going to say? And uh, I don't know if his family's going to approve of me and all of that. I let all that go. I no longer... As Pastor Dollar was talking about the other week, I'm not in people bondage. So whether I dress a certain way or look a certain way, I do care. But and I especially cared for this event because they asked me to come. And so I wanted to be and look my best. So we ended up finding some things and it was I'm thankful because I even asked them. This is the other thing that I did. This is for, for, for people that are in business or in ministry of any kind. When they asked me to do something and they asked me to, to send them information, I try to send it immediately. Now, if I, if I don't know that they received, like the praise and worship sets that I put together, then Pastor Christian wrote me and told me. I was like, oh my gosh, I sent that a few few days ago, like last week or whatever. And so I sent them the sets with all the words and I sent them the order in which I knew based on the agenda that I sent was received from uh, the secretary of the, the church. Um, and so I wrote out what days, the time, and the set name and the songs, so that they, so that the music, minister music would have that. Minister music is, please forgive me, Nelson Felix or Felix Nelson. He was like, you can call me whatever, either one of them will do. I was like, what's your name? I know it's Nelson, Nelson Felix or whatever. But it's oh anyway. It was just so great to to um, 
be asked. So I wanted to give my best and I wanted to look my best. So anyway, that, that day, I said all that to say that it was, a, they had the praise team because I'm on a praise team. So I wanted to honor what they would typically wear. So what are y'all wearing? So Nelson, Pastor Nelson, hey, uh, Janice, you're doing a lot of hiding over in the side in that picture. Oh, that's cute though. Uh, but so they had uh, told me the attire. So I tried to honor that. I was so thankful that that day was black. I think they were black and cream and yellow. Now I packed some yellow. Yellow is not an easy, yeah, I, I had a shirt, but I didn't, didn't bring that shirt. And it was in my suitcase, right? So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna wear black. So I found some black stuff. You can't go wrong with black. And then I go and spend about $200, $300 on clothes. Stuff I had planned on spending. But anyway, it was worth it. So they had praise worship that night. Then what they turned around and do, they're going to feed you. So they convert the little sitting area into a um, to a dining hall. And we had, what, Renelda, what do we have? So Renelda, I'm saying, keep saying Renelda because Renelda Johnson, who sang in our wedding, she sang the Lord's Prayer. If y'all ain't, y'all better go back and watch the, the wedding from hearing Renelda sing the Lord's Prayer. But Renelda, I invited her to come because I wanted her to experience, because she's a praise and worship leader, but I also wanted her to sing um, with me because I had so many, you know, things to do. I wanted to make sure that one, I just want to hear her sing because I, I just love Renelda's voice. So anyway, so that was Thursday. Praise and worship was awesome. The praise sing, first of all, they sang, they did praise and worship. Pastor Christian, would you just run down the list of the names of the people when you, when you finish post, I mean, finish watching this, all the, the, the ladies and men, when I tell y'all that don't go on praise team. I praise team is the bomb too, but I'm talking about in another language. It's people's was killing it. And when I tell you they had about three, four, everybody on the praise team is leading, right? And they done done praise and worship. And you know, I love this. I'm gonna have to do this. You know, like now you go to the Falcons game, they, they got the little thing, the, uh, the washcloth or the, whatever, the handkerchief. So the praise team, you know, cause they get up there and they sweating and stuff. They got the little rags, they, they twirling and stuff. And so, uh, but they doing, doing that. And when I, I didn't even know the words cause it was in French, but what was great is that 90%, 80% of the, the, the members, they do speak English. But the majority of praise is all in French. You can catch on by listening to what they're saying. And, and then they got the words running parallel, the English. They probably did that for us. But they got the, the French words at, up top and then they got the English at the bottom. But I was trying, and I'm sure Ronaldo was too, I'm trying to sing it in French because it's so beautiful. I was going to say another word and I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it like that guy. <laughs> I didn't mean to say sexy. <laughs> French. Okay, so anyway, uh, that was Thursday. So then Friday, we just, we went to receive, right? The word, uh, Dr. Muriel, I'm sure I'm saying her name completely wrong. And uh, and then there was another, Pastor Eunice Long, no, Lord, I believe. Um, she was, they were both simply amazing. You know, we're all probably around in the same bracket age-wise. And uh, it was good to see um, Pastor Eunice is from Holland. No, no, no. she lives in Canada. But she, y'all, and y'all, and let me. Okay, let's let's have a conversation. What happened to us in grade school? That in the United States we only were required to learn one language, and most of the time it was supposed to be Spanish. But we didn't even learn the Spanish, or you're supposed to learn French and didn't learn the French. I took, I didn't take Spanish in high school. I took. German in college, and I took a whole year. I speak a little bit of German, but not enough to make us have a whole conversation. But when I tell you, in the other countries, they are required to know English. They have to speak English in this new generation. Now, the Pastor Fofi, Mama Susie, they don't speak English. But that was that generation. They didn't. They didn't have to learn that, right? But this new generation, this new era, they do. They speak. Um, they they speak. English and, and and when I tell you that things